Hey guys and welcome back, Lucian here with you, hanging out on the 1710 server. So I wanted to kind of bring you what I've been working on the last week or so, and that's how long it's been. I actually have not recorded on here in exactly seven days. And I uh, took a little break to do a lot of building, and that's why i kind of been uh, not recording. But since I had a little bit of a backlog, you guys aren't going to notice anything at all. So let me show you the tools or you can see what we're going to be working on today. So remember I was working on this sword last episode. I'm at nine and a half hearts of attack damage. I just feel so ripped off. Just point five of a heart. Just give it to me. So I'm going to add another modifier on this and uh, go ahead and take that all the way up to ten. So it's an awesome sword. It's been working fantastic. Basically, at two shots, zombies and skeletons, and then one shots almost everything else. So it works great. And I actually ended up putting up a um, a flux capacitor on the hammer too, since I was just using it so much. I needed to uh, have a little extra durability, so that's been working. And you can see just in the week that I have been working that I've already picked up the other 449 lapis or durability points, not durability points, but uh, upgrade points to take this up to um, Fortune 3. And I only want put one piece of lapis. So it's not bad. I like it. Um, I lost my shovel, so I had to make a new one. I think I said that already. So now let me show you what I've been working on. So this is the very early start of what I'm going to call my base. And uh, just wanted to kind of rough in an exterior. And again, it's still very early, but it's getting there. So let me show you the inside. Inside where I've done most of the work. So I have two entrances, and I will show you where we come out on the second one. So let me just give you a little grand tour and then we'll get on with today's project. So come in here. First room we get to is this room right here. This is going to be kind of my power production room, um, generator room, whatever you want to call it. I really like the way it turned out. I like the colors, how they kind of mesh together. And uh, that's cool. It's got a nice big feeling to it, but all at the same time it looks cool. I like it. And I like how these uh, this little hallway turned out. And it's actually, you can see it, it is flowing back there. Come up these stairs right here. This space, which is not finished at all, hasn't even started besides so cleared out. This is going to be kind of my common room where I have you know my flat screen TV on the wall, my couch, I have a little kitchen area, and uh, this is just going to be my kind of my hangout room kind of in the center of the base and where everything kind of connect to it. So we go up the stairs again. This is going to be my machine room where the ore processing done, the automation's done, and uh, where everything kind of resides. Got to go pick up a little more basalt, but I like the way this room came out. That's where we're going to be working today. I left a two block gap underneath so we can do all the wiring nice and clean hopefully yeah, just that was easier just to jump out um, up here it's not really anything that come on there you go settle out what's the deal am I lagging or something Okay, might have been more still being a little funky. Up here, this is just going to be a um, like more or less a tank room or wherever stuff that I don't want visible. I'm just going to stick it up here and then pipe it down. So pretty cool. And this leads back into this little front area where it's still kind of work in progress. And then if I come down these stairs or back on this other side, this other entrance, and this tower over on this side is going to be more dedicated to non-techy stuff like 
Blood Magic and Thomcraft, so more of a um, magical wing or tower on this side. So tech on this side, magic on this side, and then we'll have little buildings coming off here. So it'll be kind of like a, basically I want it to look like a compound. And uh, so, pretty cool. I like where it's going. But I want to get some of this stuff moved in from the outside and moved on the inside. So that's what I want to work on. And I want to get up a three times ore processing system going so I can do start doing a little bit better with my ores. Alright, let's see. I did make a quarry. I've already ran it once. That's how I hauled out over here. So it did get me some to give me some resources and that's what I've been kind of working off of but I'd like to push it up a little bit more what else do I have oh uh, where's my backpack I do have a enderman spawner in this um, dolly and this is a cool trick you know if you pick up something with a dolly both versions the iron and the diamond dolly you get slowness if you put it in your backpack or something like that it'll get rid of that debuff so pretty cool Let's see what else it got anything else good I want to show you give me that I'm gonna need it found tons of dark iron I'm starting to grow ender pearls over there with the ender seeds ender leaf seeds started a coal magical crop farm which that has been nerfed thankfully just found a bunch of logic matrixes in a um, thumbcraft uh, dungeon thing. So did okay on my resources, but I've been tearing through the iron, making all those factory blocks and stuff. So yeah, there's two more full stacks of dark iron. But other than that, that's pretty much where I left off from last episode just basically been doing building. I haven't really done anything else. Building and watch the quarter run. I didn't mean to eat that. Alright, so let's get this three times ore processing system going. So we're going to go with mechanism because I like the... Uh... Okay, I'm back. I figured out what the problem was there. My uh, MacBook was doing a uh, backup and tying up the bandwidth a little bit. Alright, so let's get going. Uh, like I was saying, I like using the mechanism system because I like the big, bulky, techy builds of it. And uh, five times processing is not bad. So we're gonna straight jump, jump straight into three times processing. So we have, I have a smelter, enricher, purifying, and a crusher. Now I just did a mechanism or processing spotlight. So if you're more interested in more about how that works then go check out the spotlight if you haven't seen it already so to do this we are going to need a purifying machine and I just made the basic factories just the, the uh, second tier machines so yeah so this basic factory three inventory slots one gets gonna use oxygen and uh, should be pretty cool. So next we're going to need crusher. And richer. And finally a smelter. Okay. So we got all that hooked up. In fact, I will I'll come configure them off off screen because it's a little bit of a pain but it works. I might jump into bat form here just to make this a little bit easier. Now I don't have these hooked up to power yet but I will. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to I want to power these from the tops or what or the backs I think the back would be fine okay cool 
Next, we need to have oxygen coming in to this machine, which that should be fine. All right, jump out of Batmorph. There we go. So the way we are going to get oxygen is through an electrolyte separator, separate water to, from into hydrogen and oxygen. And I think the easiest way to do this I think we should do it just like that. So glad I left myself a two block space to work down here. Makes things so much easier. Hydrogen. Oops, where's my wrench? Come on, rotate. Okay. So what this is going to do, this is going to split down the water into oxygen. Oxygen is going to go up here to feed the factory. The hydrogen is going to go into this gas burning generator to create electricity. And basically it should be a mostly um, self-sustaining system. Just got to worry about oxygen backup. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. And you know what? What we can do... Use an Ender IO reservoir, but should not put you there. Let me fill that in. So nothing spawns in. Okay. Two buckets of water. Excellent. Some fluid conduit. Give it a whack with a wrench to output. Okay. So you're filling up with water. Sweet. Now the next thing I need, I just need a little power to jump start this system. But we can do that here in just a second as well. But this reservoir, very cool. Put two buckets of water in, it acts like an infinite water source. And since I shift clicked it with a wrench, you can see I got this little arrow now. It's now automatically outputting without any kind of redstone signal and whatever. Uh, these are the lower tier conduits for fluid, so they only flow 200 millibuckets a tick. The next tier flows twice that, so I want to see if that's going to be enough. If not, I can just upgrade to the next tier, which will be no big problem at all. Okay. And let's get out of here. You know what? I'll just jump. I'll just jump it out. So, but I'm going to need that form eventually. So let me go ahead and start morphing. Guess I'm going into a blaze. No, I don't like that. I don't like all the particle effects. Thank you. So now this is basically where I'm going to start moving everything inside. Take the wind turbine. The wind turbine is going to act like my initial jump start. Alright. That'll work. Come on, break. And it should have some stored up power already. Excellent. And I did change in the config. I wanted to server files and change this so it actually does register what 
RF it puts out instead of uh, joules. So that's just a server config. It's an, also a client config if you're playing circle player. So if you do want to know what RF is putting out, quick easy change. So this is actually putting out a um, 384 RF a tick, which is 38 MJs. It's not bad. So now if I check on this, hopefully it's running. Okay. So, you know, I had a 50 50 chance, and of course, that 50 50 chance got wrong. So, white is actually hydrogen. So, it was actually sending the wrong way. Should just be able to rotate this bad way around. Very good. So hydrogen is going in here to keep this guy fueled. And you should be filling up with oxygen, which you are. Cool deal. Very good. Nice easy system. Now I thought about moving the hydrogen generator down, which I still may, but I didn't want to run the pipe through, which is a little loud. All the mechanism machines are loud. All right. So let me let me take a break, see where we're gonna be at next, and continue working. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we go. Got two more projects I want to work on. So I I know I said I wasn't gonna do a whole lot of crafting, but I want to show you that I am gonna make a capacitor bank, just like that, and you can see it holds five million RF. So this is really a neat block because it, it's a multi-block. Basically you build as many as you want. Oh, the sun's coming up. So I can keep scaling this up. I can build 50 of them. I can build 100 of them and they'll continue to work together. And each of these capacitors that you put in will allow you to input and output a thousand RF attack. So you can see this guy's filling up from the, uh, of course the windmill, probably the hydrogen generator or the gas generator as it's now called. This probably slowed down a little bit but this will not only allow me to input but output as well so I can send power back up to those machines as they need them if we start running and then when I'm not running then the wind turbine is just going to keep this guy filled up. So that's pretty neat. So the second thing I want to do is I want to make what's called a painting machine. Now something really cool with painting machines. Let's see, paint, painting machines, I believe I have everything ready. Nope, what I don't have, what I don't have ready. Thought I did. Hmm. Did I grab copper instead of tin? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, painting machine. See on the tooltip, it'll paint condo facades, stairs, fences. It'll paint a lot of cool things. So if I can make a condo facade just make one of those. You can see it just got a kind of a not a kind of a weird texture. So let me grab something out of my chest. That to that. Let's see if I still have I should still have some power right here. Probably not a whole lot, but 
That's okay. I should have some power right here. Yeah, power? No power? Somewhere it's got to have power. There we go. So what I want... I want to paint this conduit facade with this uh, factory block right here. And now that I don't leave the box, uh, lose the block, and now I have this conduit facade. So let me show you how this is going to work. Now this is something I have used very infrequently, and since thermal expansion conduits are not in, most almost getting forced into using this. But then once I started playing with, it, I was like, this is really cool. And break you. Look how cool that is. So the energy conduit goes right through the block. It looks like it's one solid piece. If I either put a conduit in my hand or the wrench in my hand, it should disappear. Kind of let you know where your wires are at. Bam. Now tell me that's not cool. And the painting machine can do so many, so much more. So I like it. I like it a lot. You're still filling up pretty good. Let's run upstairs. Ooh, turn too quick. Now the hydrogen generator is probably off because it's not producing any more oxygen because the oxygen's backed up, which that's what I kind of thought would happen. But the good thing is that as soon as this guy starts running, it'll basically kick on this, this hydrogen burner, hydrogen generator. So right now the system's just being maintained and ba trickle charged with the solar generator, or the uh, wind generator, which is, that's fine by me. Pretty neat. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good for this episode. Hopefully you guys le like where I'm going with the build. Let me know your thoughts. Between this episode and, and the next, I'm going to get all the stuff moved inside and basically just continue to optimize and clean up things and make it look a little bit better. I need to do something with this entrance because it just looks crap. But thanks again for joining me. My Patreon, forums, Twitter, all that good stuff is down below. And I will see you guys on the next one.